Today, we are reviewing a $1,000 sofa, a $5,000 sofa, and a $12,000 sofa. And guys, I'm gonna go through all of the details of what you need to look for when you're shopping for your next sofa. So guys, imagine you're walking through a furniture store or you're online shopping, looking to buy a sofa. What do you look out for? One of the first things that I look for when I walk into a store and I see a beautiful sofa like this, I think, wow, first of all, let me check the price. Check mark. This one is actually just over a thousand dollars. It does look really pretty. It does look really nice and well put together. The fabric on it is a nice fabric. It's actually a little bit more of like an ultra suede meets cotton fabric. It has a lot of tufting going on it. So this automatically sets it apart from some of the other sofas you might want to consider. Ah, yes. Now we're getting into the style of sofa. So depending on the style of the sofa you're looking to buy. Are you looking for something transitional, traditional, modern, or contemporary? Once you know, second thing you look at, will it fit my room? Size is a big factor when you're considering purchasing a sofa. The size of this sofa is actually more of like a condo size sofa. It's not super long, it's not super high, so it will get in through those tricky hallways and those doorways. The arms are quite low. You don't have, it's not like a big bulky piece. One of the other features that sets it apart from some of the other sofas is the fact that the base is all made of metal. There is no wood incorporated into this design. It's all fabric, a lot of tufting, and a lot of metal work. So one of the things to consider when you're looking at this price point to purchase a sofa, around the $1,000 mark to $1,500 mark, chances are you will not have a choice of fabric. So whatever you see in the store, is what you will get. Most likely, it's coming from abroad and they've shipped it in containers and you do not get a choice of changing your fabric. So if you love it, go for it. If you don't like it, you might wanna reconsider another sofa. And now for our seating test. Oh, okay. First things first, I'm not a big girl. And when I sat on this sofa, it moved. As in, it tipped backwards. So that's my first indication that this sofa is probably not gonna be the sofa that's gonna last me 10 years because it's a little bit flimsy. The seat cushion is quite firm, but not like a comfortable firm where I just wanna lounge on it and go to sleep because the depth on the seat is quite shallow. I don't know if it's gonna be one of those sofas that I'm gonna be sitting here relaxing, watching TV, or you know, having my kids bounce around on because this one, it actually belongs in a small condo or if someone's gonna do it in a living room or something and not much use is gonna get out of it because yes, it's a thousand dollar sofa. I have to say, I actually feel like it's a thousand dollar sofa. So I guess that's where the price difference comes in from the make and quality of what you're purchasing. So they say, you get what you pay for, you get what you pay for. This sofa looks good, uh, feels good, but comfortable, not so much. And I would think not gonna be a very long lasting sofa if you're gonna be keeping it long term and looking to get good use out of it. This is probably not your sofa because A, it's not comfortable. B, it's not really sturdy and substantial. And C, you don't get to choose your fabric. So for me, I would say it's a no-go. But if you wanna look at it on another point of view as a stager, given this is part of my inventory too, it's a fantastic piece because no one's really gonna get use out of it. It's just moving from a property to another property. And the other thing is the size of it makes it so convenient in using it in bedrooms, offices, small condos, or any space that's a little bit more confined and you want something light and airy, this would definitely be your piece. But if this is a piece that you're thinking for home, I would stay away from it, spend a little bit more money, get something a little bit more comfortable. And now, on to our next sofa. 
And this is our $5,000 sofa. So guys, just looking at it, it's a beautiful, substantial sofa. This one has a little bit of a taller back, so it's not as low as a low profile sofa. And you'll notice that the seats, they're actually loose cushions. They're not built-in cushions. And it has beautiful piping features going all around it. Now, with a $5,000 sofa, what you're getting out of it is most likely something that could be custom made as in, you might have options as to what kind of leg profile you want, if you want them exposed or you don't want them exposed where these ones are a little bit exposed, you have about an inch and a half of exposed feet. You might have the option of choosing your own fabric so it's not something that's standard sold with a sofa. This sofa, we had the option of actually putting in these channels which adds a beautiful feature to the sofa instead of doing say the buttons, tufting, or even just plain solid. I like the channels because I feel like it adds a little bit more of a contemporary feel to the design of the sofa. So one of the features that sets this apart from a more expensive sofa is the fact that it is actually a three-seater sofa. It's not a modular, it's not a sectional, it is just the sofa piece. And what we did here that was really nice, and I recommend this to my clients, is this is a 96-inch sofa which is a little bit longer than your average size sofa which is about 80 to 84. What we did was instead of doing the three-piece seat which makes it look a little bit more chunky we decided to do the two-piece seat which makes it look nice and linear looking. So this also adds to the contemporary features of the sofa. And now for the seating test. It does feel luxurious, it does feel substantial. I mean, you can tell when you sit on a sofa because of the shift, if you feel a shift, then you feel like it's not so well made. But when it holds you and it's substantial, it's heavy, you know it's a good make sofa. And this one is a pretty good make sofa. It's actually a Canadian brand company that we did a custom piece of this with them. And I do feel like it's definitely worth the price. The depth on the seat is very important. A lot of sofas come a little bit more narrow seats, which is not so comfortable, especially if you're looking for a piece for a family room or a great room where there's gonna be entertaining and you wanna sit down and relax and watch TV. You don't wanna do something like that. You need at least, I would say, a 38 inch depth up to even a 45, 46 inch would be ideal if you have the space for it. Now, one of the other features you might want to pay attention to when you're purchasing your sofa is how high do you want the arms to be? Because I get a lot of different feedback from my clients in sometimes the arm is too tall and they say, well, no, I don't want to be sitting like this or no, I won't be able to lie down comfortably if I put my pillow there and watch TV. So it really comes down to the use of your space and what you want your sofa for. If it's for a lounging space, I wouldn't so much recommend a high arm like this sofa. I would do something a little bit more low profile. And if you're looking for something more traditional or a little bit more formal looking, a high arm is definitely the way to go because it adds height and it, it adds luxury to your piece. So one of the other positive features about this sofa is the fact that you get what you pay for and they thought of convenience. So. We have zippers, we have zippers on the seats. So if you have anything that spills on it, you can definitely just open up the zipper, take the cover off, take a dry cleaning and bam, you're done. You're nice and clean looking. So now obviously not everything can be positive about all of our sofas. We have to mention some negatives. So one of the things I'm gonna say is this sofa is not pre-treated. So if you wanna have total coverage of your pieces and peace of mind more than anything, especially for those with pets and kids, is get your sofas and your upholstered pieces pre-treated. Either the fabric can be pre-treated when you purchase it, so it's already made that way, or after the fact, when you purchase it, you can have a company come to your house, spray it all down, have it treated for you, and it kind of builds almost like a coating over your sofa, over the fabric, and will not allow the uh, liquids to absorb into the fabric. So you have some time to clean it up before it actually stains.
Now I'm gonna also mention this. When I purchase sofas for my clients, one of the main things that raises the price is the fabric that you choose. Anytime you wanna get a quote for a sofa, they always ask you, what kind of fabric are you looking for? And just to be safe, I advise you to say mid-range fabric because a mid-range fabric, it's not a totally high-end fabric and it's not a low-grade fabric. So you're somewhere in between where it's safe. So that can also increase the price of your sofa or it can slightly decrease the price of your sofa because they usually come with a base price and then the fabric on top. This fabric is definitely a mid-range fabric. I love it, it's an ultra suede, nice gray, Tone. It's not so light, it's not so dark, it's actually very neutral. The only thing about it is I don't feel that soft texture to it. Yes, it's ultra suede, but there's also different levels and degrees of ultra suede. Some of them are super soft and some of them like this one can be a little bit more rough to the touch. So upgrading your fabric can increase your price, could be a good idea. Just whatever you do, make sure you have it treated. So I've showed you all of the joys and beauties of purchasing a $5,000 sofa. Let's move on to our $12,000 sofa. And guys, our $12,000 sofa. I mean, let's go through all the characteristics. We have a beautiful, low profile, super substantial piece here. I mean, just looking at this, you can tell it's luxurious. The size, the width of the arms are wider. The seats are deeper. The cushions are much wider. You're about 40 inches with this modular sectional here. Each piece, I mean, we have three, four pieces and this is completely filling out our space here. At first glance, when I look at this sofa, I can tell that it's high quality luxury piece because of its stance. And what do I mean by that? I mean, when you look at the frame of the sofa, it's all very clean looking, clean cut, arms are good size. Like, I mean, it just looks substantial and it looks like it's well made, actually Canadian made. <laughs> and now for our seat test. It is super comfortable super deep. I mean, this is one of those pieces that if you have it in a family room or a great room, you're definitely lounging and falling asleep on it because it's super comfortable. So one of the things I love about this style modular sofa is the fact that the seats are actually tight cushions. So you don't have any loose cushions here. It's all built in. The seat is built in. And the back, the way that we did it was we did it in a loose cushion where at as you could see, the frame at the back, it's all a one piece, and then you have this extra cushion at the back to give you that support. One of the things that distinguishes high quality sofa from a lower quality sofa is how convenient they've actually made it for you. This one over here, as you can see, there is a zipper here with the filling inside. And what this does is, I mean, if you have any spills or any mess in the house on the sofa, you can always just open it up, take it to the dry cleaners and have it completely cleaned and washed and ready to go. And on that point, I'm actually gonna point out one other thing. Super luxurious brands usually have a line that is pre-treated fabric, like this one. This cocoon fabric is actually pre-treated. And what does that mean? That means that if you have any immediate, like if you have any spills and you immediately attend to it and you don't let it sit for days, you can actually completely take off that water damage, stain, or whatnot. Other than, of course, pens and markers. Sorry, kids, you cannot play with any coloring markers around the sofa. One of the other benefits of going with a modular piece like this is the fact that you can switch it up as you please. I mean, depending on your space that you're working with, we have it in a small L shape right now, but again, because each piece is so substantial in size, it actually takes up quite a bit of space. So if you feel like, yes, you want that extra seat at the end, to make it an L shape, you can leave it there. No, you wanna use it as an accent chair. You pull out one of the pieces, use it as an accent chair. So it's really fun to play around with it. And the other thing is, nobody stays in the same house forever. So if you decide to move, it's one of those pieces that will last you a long time First, in the make of it, and second, in the style and setting because you can always change it up with your new place. 
Now, obviously, we have to point out something that kind of steers towards the negative of having a piece like this. And the only thing that I can come up with is the fact that it's a little bit pricey, but you're getting what you pay for because one, you get the configuration that you want. Two, with a custom piece like this, you can always choose your fabric. So it's not something that's standard and you're stuck with it. You can choose whatever fabric you want. And three, the fact that you know that it's a long-term piece, it's well-made, good craftsmanship, and it will last you eight to 10 years easily. Well guys, I just gave you a full rundown on three different sofas with three different price ranges. Now, I'm interested to hear what you think and what's worth it for you. Would you spend $1,000 on a sofa? Or would you spend $5,000 on a sofa and be happy with that? Or would you splurge and get all of the extra little perks and get a $12,000 sofa? Now I'm gonna tell you my thoughts. My opinion, I would definitely go with a $12,000 sofa because I just find it so versatile and so comfortable that it almost becomes a lounging space as well as an entertaining space. So if I'm looking long term, I would definitely do the $12,000 sofa. But I'm curious to know what you guys think, so definitely comment below. Let me know what you think. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you next time, guys.